What is good, Ape Nation? It's your boy Stock J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to do some math with you guys to calculate how on earth AMC could actually go to 500,000, 100,000, or even a million dollars per share. Now, I know that sounds kind of crazy, right? It sounds very outlandish or like a fantasy. However, guys, please just watch this video. We have some very good DD that was done on Reddit that basically calculates this in a very, very meticulous manner how it is possible for AMC to mathematically go to hundreds of thousands of dollars per share. Now, before I do say anything about what was posted, on reddit and why it is very possible why the due diligence is already done and why amc has this upside potential when it squeezes i do have to mention some very important things first first off i'm not a financial planner guys this is all for educational and entertainment purposes only and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this is not only benefits me but the entire ape community as a whole and the last things if you guys can please check out the memo link down below and in the description if you do sign up and deposit a hundred dollars you will not only qualify for up to five free stocks each with up to three thousand five hundred but you're also going to get free real-time level 2 data for U.S. stocks with $0 commission trading if you simply sign up with the link down below and deposit $100. So please check that out, guys. And with that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So looking at AMC, guys, you, there are a lot of people saying the AMC floor is 100000 500000 a million. I know people make these, these, you know, big claims out there. And I want to let you guys know something, okay? It is possible for AMC to hit those big numbers, and I'm about to show you guys why. Now, right now, you might think it's crazy, right? If you look at the AMC share price, it's currently at like $22 like under $30. Yeah, I totally, totally understand that. I know people are frustrated. I know people are very concerned maybe. But at the end of the day, guys, you have to remember something. The play has not changed. Now, AMC is kind of dropping with the market, so to speak, because of the fact that the Fed has been announcing some big things. And the Fed did announce that they want to be a little bit less hawkish than many of us have anticipated, right? They are going to be more hawkish than before, but not as crazy, crazy hawkish. They, In fact, uh, Jerome Powell stated that his job is just to work on the sidelines and not necessarily tank the market. So with AMC kind of tanking the way it has been, guys, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the end for the squeeze, right? The squeeze is still on the table. As long as AMC does not go to $0 a share, the squeeze could definitely happen and bring this thing to very high levels. And I'm about to show you exactly why. Now, I want to let you know something. If you believe AMC is going to go to 100,000, it's possible. Nothing in the market is guaranteed, but it's possible and you are not crazy. And here's exactly why. So Hyped Ape David on Twitter stated this, and then he linked in the Reddit uh, DD, which I'm going to show you guys a little bit after. But look at this. This is what he said. For doubters, this is a very detailed DD that was done. You will see how we could absolutely reach $100,000 per share or more and who is going to pay us at those brackets. Now, it's not only the hedge funds that have to pay, it's others as well. So it's a must read for all AMC shareholders. Please check it out. And we're going to do that. So this is the link you put in. It states this, it states this right over here on Reddit. A detailed explanation why the 500,000 floor is mathematically possible. So basically, you guys hear 100,000 a share. And you guys probably think some apes are just, you know, dumb money. They're crazy. They have no clue what they're talking about. However, guys, that's not true. That's not true. AMC could still go to astronomical levels. No, I'm not guaranteeing that this is going to happen. I'm not promising it, nor am I giving you financial advice. That's not what I'm doing. I'm simply telling you that it's possible and that this thing has insane upside potential. And here's exactly why. First off, for AMC to hit 100,000, guys, it depends on how many synthetic or counterfeit shares there are. Some people estimate that there are about 2 billion. If, even if there are 2 billion, it could still go to that level. Maybe there are 10 billion, guys. It really depends on where you know how many synthetics there are how many counterfeit shares and the more they are the more likely it is to run up now even though i can't promise you that five hundred thousand or a million is going to happen i'm not i'm not saying that i need to repeat myself but i do want to let you guys know that it's possible and here's why because the there's a big issue with a lot of math out there that makes it seem crazy and that is what people do is they they multiply five hundred thousand dollars by the the AMC float. And let's just say the outstanding shares is like 500 million. Well, you're going to get a 250 trillion dollar market cap, right? That makes no sense. That's not possible. Not even AMC could do that. However, guys, that's not how you how you do the math. That's actually wrong math. I'm about to show you exactly why. Because when you calculate where a share price could go, you have to use this thing called the geometric mean, right? And that in turn is going to actually help us understand how on earth AMC could go to these high numbers. So long story short 
the geometric mean is used in finance to calculate returns over time. Let's just say you made $1,500 off a $1,000 investment over 10 years. How does each year break down? This is what the average per year is, and this in turn could be used to calculate AMC share price. So check this out right here. This is what AMC share price may look like during the MOAS. However, guys, it's not just a reflection of the market cap because different apes are going to sell at different levels. My point is some apes are going to sell at 500. Some apes are going to sell at 1,000. Other apes are going to sell at 2,000. Other ones are going to sell at 5,000. Some are going to sell at 100,000. Some maybe even a million if it goes that high, right? But and when AMC is running up, guys, every share is not going to be worth a million if apes already sell. My point is, my point is, it, let's just say amc's market cap only hits like i don't know 10 20 30 trillion that doesn't mean amc will only go to like five or six or ten thousand dollars a share it could still hit that very high level okay because some apes are going to sell at different levels this allows amc to still hit that very very high price even if the overall market cap is not at that exact price so i, I know that sounds uh, that's a little bit confusing i'm going to try to make this very similar or simple you guys can see how they plotted everything so what this basically means guys is let's just say amc were to go to a million dollars which is what that's showing the thing is in order for it to get there you have to use the geometric mean to calculate okay where would the market cap be and the geometric mean landed on eleven thousand two hundred seventy three, right so that means on average that's how much the average share price is going to be to calculate how we can get to one million right depending on where we sell at so hypothetically based off the simulation guys if i scroll to the very bottom down here the $30 trillion market cap could still bring AMC to a peak price of $1 million before it starts dropping, right? Because different apes sell at different levels, different things are happening. So my point is we don't need a $250 trillion market cap to get there. Even something as little as $30 trillion is still possible, and that could help AMC still go to very high levels. And here's the reason why. Because I'm using the geometric meme, uh, I'm sorry, mean, and that in turn shows that on average it's going to be $11,273 per share or at least that's going to be the average price for us to hit that really peak so once again let me let me explain this again some apes are going to sell at lower levels okay other ones are going to sell at higher levels on average on average that's how you're going to calculate the market cap the market cap doesn't have to be all shares at a hundred thousand not all shares have to be at a million some of them are going to be at that price other ones are going to be at much lower prices when it starts dropping not everyone's going to sell at the perfect level i don't think all apes are going to hold on perfectly at that level some apes are probably going to sell at like 50k other ones at 70k and some institutions could be buying and selling too causing these crazy price movements so my point is on average all we need is the market cap to be calculated at around 30 trillion that's because on average we calculate that based off the fact that eleven thousand two hundred seventy three dollars would be the average share price right and let's just say there are only two two point six billion amc shares or if it's even higher it would be higher than that but my point is with just 30 or 40 trillion dollars that's what the market cap has to be for amc to reach a million dollars it still is possible now how is that money going to come is it just going to fly from the sky at the end of the day guys citadel and its friends have trillions of dollars in assets by themselves on top of that brokerages are going to be held responsible for executing orders and buying back all of these counterfeit shares now on top of that guys the federal reserve has never shut off the money machine anyways you have to remember they have trillions upon trillions upon trillions of dollars right now now you're kidding yourself if you think that the u.s doesn't give them a blank check whatever they want or anything like that so the dtcc is also insured for 67 trillion dollars once again 67 trillion dollars whereas the world economy is at 130 trillion now i'm not necessarily saying all that money is going to be used to help the squeeze happen but at the end of the day guys the money is there to help the market cap of amc hit trillions which could cause the share price to easily easily go to tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars per share once again it doesn't have to be one million dollars per share multiplied by all shares out there not all apes are going to sell at that perfect level it's not necessarily going to work like that so that in turn makes it possible for amc to hit very high levels now what does this also mean guys well we could conclude one thing that is the hedge funds are in a very bad position and 
it's really, really tough for them to keep on doing what they're doing. They're simply trying to do whatever they can to keep the share price down. And they're trying to scare you into selling early. That's what they're doing. I, I believe Citadel was just given like one over a billion dollars from Sequoia. I mean, at the end of the day, guys, they're in bed together and they're doing whatever they can to keep this price down. So the DD is done, guys. We know this thing could run up. All you have to do is just buy and hold. And another thing is you have to be willing to hold through very tough times. So one of the things you could do is sell in small increments as we go up, guys. That's what I would recommend doing. Don't just sell all your shares at once. But at, at the same time, guys, you have to be very careful during the MOAS because they're going to try to shake you off. They're going to do you know, trading halts, all sorts of tactics to scare you. And it's still on the table. So don't necessarily lose your faith. So it is mathematically possible for AMC to go to these astronomical levels. And I'm not guaranteeing it or promising that they're going to do that. But I'm just putting it out there. It is possible for this thing to hit 100,000 per share without the market cap having to go to hundreds of trillions of dollars. And that's what I have for this video, guys. I just wanted to put it out there. I apologize if I didn't explain it in the best of ways. And at the end of the day, it does not matter because we know what is possible and we know what AMZ could do and we know it still has insane upside potential. All you have to do is just wait it out, be very patient and never, ever quit. So I thank you for listening. Never give up on your dreams, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. AMC to the moon and peace out.